Hey everyone, I'm Marcos and I'm Moxie Boosted, and welcome back to a very fun video that I want to go over. So, I, I know there's no face cam, I really wish there was, because I want I want you guys to look at me, look at me, when, when I tell you how serious this is. Pokemon Home just released one of the most disgustingly good Pokemon that we could have ever have gotten in VGC. And I know what you're thinking, he's menacing, he is cute in some senses, he is disgustingly viable. We all know his name, and it's Clefairy. For those of you who don't know, Clefairy is like the only good follow me user that we are going to have in this game. Because, you know, Toekiss, Toekiss is pretty overrated. Let's 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 get that out of the way. Toekiss is kind of overrated. Um, let, let's look at all of our options. Right? Toekiss is the best one we can, we have right now, and it's got 85 HP, 115 special defense, uh, 95 defense, and 80 speed. So it, it's and 120 special tech so it's like actually a really really good pokemon right but hear me out hear me out what if you had a support pokemon that didn't even need to follow me to be amazing like just absolutely amazing that's clefairy because it just got through pokemon home its hidden ability friend guard which <laughs> it's it's so good this pokemon's allies receive three-fourths of the damage from other pokemon's attacks Guys, if you enjoy this video at any point in time, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more competitive Pokemon content because that's what I do on this channel. And uh, yeah, we're going to get into it. So what I have today is a little bit of an experiment. I am going to be using uh, Clefairy after I discuss a little bit more about why it's so good. Uh, I'm going to be using Clefairy in a showdown live today uh, on this here team. Where are you? Um, VGC 2020 on this team. This example sand team. I just threw it together. I just threw it together. And it's got something really, really good going for it. You know, uh, Weakness Palsy Tyranitar, that thing that's like almost impossible to one shot in the sand. Similar to Solid Rock Rhyperior, it's actually very, very difficult to knock out, especially in the sand. Well, Solid Rock, you know, it reduces the damage you take uh, with Solid Rock. So if we have a Clefairy next to it, with friend guard it's disgusting and it gets access to helping hand it gets access to follow me dazzling gleam and safeguard to prevent burns so we don't even need to run uh like uh we don't even need to run like a, a lumberry on this thing it's just gonna be safe if we go for a protect and yeah it's just a super hyper offensive sand team uh if you guys want to use the pace of this team it's very simple you could recreate it if you wanted to but i guess i'll leave a pokey paste in the in the description for you nothing on this team is eviewed for anything in particular except rotom mo which is uh ev to outspeed uh gyarados with a jolly nature so here's the basis of this team right here when i dynamax my tyranitar with 252 hp 252 attack and four defense Close combat adamant conkledur does not one shot. You ready? You ready? Friend guard. Bam. Brought it down to 94% maximum. That's disgusting. I love this Pokemon. I'm tempted to run heal pulse on it, but I feel like I'm going to get much more uh, mileage out of uh, helping hand follow me dazzling gleam safeguard. So yeah, uh, let me go ahead and explain why I think Clefairy is going to be busted. So Dynamax Pokemon, the better a Dynamax Pokemon is, uh, is pretty much dependent on its offensive potential, its speed, and its HP in particular. Here we are at VGC stats, and as we can see, some of the most successful Dynamax Pokemon are probably going to be things like Duraludon, Excadrill, Rhyperior, uh, Togekiss, Snorlax to an extent, Tyranitar, it's, and Gyarados, Gyarados. So if we take a look at all these things, if we take a look at all these things, the best Dynamax Pokemon in the format have a respectable HP stat, and that's because having that HP stat doubled means so much more when you already have really, really good HP and really amazing offensive potential. Look at all these things, they have amazing offensive potential, and arguably the one that does, the one that gets the most mileage without any support is Tyranitar. Now that Tyranitar has such a good support Pokemon in Clefairy, it is going to be incredible. And there were only two other Follow Me users in the past, and they were really just like Togekiss and uh, Ndidi, and it was literally just Ndidi Female. So if we look, uh, Ndidi Female had Follow Me so it could die. It would it would die to an attack uh, after it let the Hatterene or the Dusclops get up a Trick Room. So if we look at it, good Special Defense, great Special Defense even, bad Physical Defense, Togekiss, good overall defensive potential, Clefairy, not too impressive to be honest. However, Let's go ahead and set this bad boy to 50. Let's set him to 50. You ready? You ready for this? Max HP. Max defense. Old nature. We're going to do some quick maths. Some, some quick maths. 110 times 1.5. Because that is what the Eevee Light is going to give it. It gets it 50% more uh, defense and special defense. 110 
times 1.5, it's going to give us an extra 55 points. So that brings us up to 165 uh, base defense with uh, 177 HP at level 50. If we look at Togekiss, Togekiss, while it does like to run a lot of defense to allow it to take things, it lacks the ability to reduce damage all across the board. Same goes with Ndidi. Ndidi actually has poo-poo garbage defenses. Like, look at this thing. It's, it's gross. It's gross how bad this thing is on the physical side. Why are we using this thing in the first place? Like, yeah, it's good for Trick Room, but like, what, why are we using this thing in the first place? It takes hits worse than, than Clefairy would. So yeah, for those of you who don't believe me, Clefairy in the past has had amazing VGC runs. Some of the seasons that come to mind are uh, 2015 and 2018, usually in national or us usually in national decks formats. But now that we have it in this limited decks format with its hidden ability, things are about to get cranked up a bit. So yeah, if you guys enjoy this, leave a like, subscribe, uh, and let's go ahead and get into it. Here it is. Here's the Pokemon we're gonna take a hit from, and also you. You are no longer a threat. You are no longer a threat. Actually, let me look at that. Let me look at that. What's the Durant Calc? What is the Life Orb Durant Calc? Take a look at this Life Orb damage. Life Orb, Iron Head, Max. So it looks like Max Steel Spike from Hustle Durant against us with Friend Guard. Keep in mind, Friend Guard's in the field. We would, we would normally have to risk a, a death, a very slight risk, but now... It's only doing 75%. And look at the difference in damage. Look at this. It goes from 84% minimum to 63% minimum. So we have a good amount of health we could be living. So there's a good amount of health we could be living on. So now that I'm done introducing myself to someone I already met. Because <laughs> that's just that's just what Pokemon is. You, you meet a lot of people. Um, I think here I definitely want to pack the Braviary. So I'll bring the Braviary. Just Tyranitar. And I really just want to, like, Nene on him right now. I really want to Nene on him so bad. So, so bad. I want to show him exactly what <laughs> exactly what this uh, Clefairy is going to allow me to live. So, uh, here, I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and go for that Max Rockfall onto the Whimsicott for the free KO after the Sand Damage. Uh, and I don't know if there's a reason to Dynamax yet, actually. Uh, I'll just... Um... Yeah, I'll go for it. I'll go for the max rock fall for the free KO. I'll go for a rock slide. Alright, that's fine. There's the tailwind. There's the max flare. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I'm gonna get my sand back up though, which is gonna be really, really nice. And they will drop to the sand damage. Uh, I can get in my... Honestly? Honestly. I think Clefairy is the play. I think it's time for Clefairy to actually shine. There's the Rotom Wash. There's the Rotom Wash. Check this out. Check this out. He's going to go for the burn. No one no one allows the weakness policy. No one just lets the weakness policy go up. Like, this is... I'm really hoping he goes for the will of us. If he goes for the will of us, I'm going to be so happy. There's the Max Darkness. I block it. Hydro Pump. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I'm going to take this hit so well. I'm going to take it so well. Give me this... Uh, uh, who do I want? I think I want to go for the the max darkness because that will allow me to pick up a lot of damage um, with my Dazzling Gleam. And I could follow me as well, but I, I want to take the damage to be honest. Yeah, okay. 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 He misses, interestingly enough. I kinda, I'm kind of upset about that to be honest. <laughs> kind of wish he landed it because I would have gotten my um, my weakness policy. Uh, and it's at this point that there's not really a reason to allow him to get the damage off. I'm just going to rock slide and follow me now. Because I should be able to get a double KO. But I would have been able to absolutely tank that hit. Because one, the sand actually negates the special defense drop. And the uh, friend guard's going to help me out so much. Draco Meteor, we are immune. Hydro Pump, we eat it because we are Eviolite, boys. And there we go. So I think that should be game. Uh, if there's a Kunkle Dunk in the back... Uh, it should be a little bit concerned. All right, there is a Kunkle Dunk. Uh, luckily, Braviary actually just completely dunks on that Pokemon. So what I'm gonna do here is uh, I'm gonna allow him to take my Tyranitar as I go for a uh, go for a superpower as a last ditch last ditch effort, uh, and I'm gonna switch to my Braviary. Hopefully, it doesn't target into my. Yep, that's fine. And this should actually be. We should actually be fine. I'm gonna go for a Tailwind and a superpower. 
Actually, there's literally no reason to Tailwind. Literally no reason. Um, I'll protect. I kind of want him to take my Tyranitar first. All right, cool. I'm playing as if he had... I, I don't know why. I'm playing as if he had the, um, the Dynamax still. But I know he doesn't. I know he doesn't, uh, so I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I was playing like that. All right, let's get another one. Let's get another one. So Clefairy actually came in pretty clutch there. Not not in the way I hoped it would, but it still was really, really clutch. Here, um, it's literally just Tyranitar and Clefairy. They're like best friends in this game. They're like best friends in this game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lead off with them. I don't even care, dude. If I can take a close combat from Conkledur, I can take a superpower from this boy. So we're going to lead off exactly the same way. Exactly the same way. Uh, or actually, maybe I want sand. Yeah, I want sand. I want to lead off sand. A fairy in the back, just like the horses. Uh, and Dracovish is calling my name, to be honest. I feel like he doesn't have too much of a Dracovish answer. He can get a Tailwind up. That's fine. That's whatever. Um, but we're playing like full bulk this game. Like I know we have an Excadrill, but we have to go full bulk in the uh, Tyranitar mindset, you know? If that makes sense. I feel like I'm just spouting nonsense at the moment. But I'm hoping... Um, what I'm hoping here is for him to lead off with... Uh, is for him to lead off with the Whimsic Hot and Charizard. Yeah, okay. So what he's going to do here is he's most likely just going to go ahead and go for the Sunny Day into the Solar Beam, attempting to get a free KO. However, what I can do here is Max Rockfall and send in the Clefairy. And Clefairy is going to allow me to eat that hit much better than I would have otherwise. Because if we look at this damage calc, this, this video is all about damage calcs. This video is 100% damage calcs. Let's go with a Timid Charizard. Timid Charizard. Give him a Life Orb as well. Uh, Life Orb. And we want Solar Beam into Max Overgrowth. And I want you to be Solar Power. Yep. So, Solar Beam. Wait, why is that not doing anything? Oh, okay. I'm dumb. There we go. Timid, max special attack, solar beam. Not not really doing that much to Dynamax. <laughs> not really doing that much. There's the sunny day. Overheat. Alright, interesting move. I'm not quite sure why he went with that. I lost my Clefairy turn 1, which is a little bit disappointing to be honest. But uh, I don't think it's too big of a deal. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal, um, especially since I can just threaten this Darmanitan right now. I'll go for the Max Guard. He's probably going to want a Superpower. I can get an Iron Head off. In fact, if he uh, Dynamaxes here, I'm not in a bad spot. Because I, I probably can't take the Superpower while I'm like this, like without my Clefairy. But I can, yeah, if, if I had my Clefairy in the field, I could take it. So, be, like, we have to take a look at this. Let's analyze what's happened. People are putting respect on Clefairy's name by dealing with it first. Um, Dragapult usually isn't Sash, but I'm still going to Rock Slide. I'm still going to double into it in case it is. Uh, hopefully we're not facing the rare weakness policy Dragapult. I really don't want to see a rare weakness policy Dragapult in the wild in its natural habitat, the low ladder. What ladder am I at right now? 1386. Yeah, we're kind of we're kind of low. I don't ladder too much in my main. It's usually on my ults. All right. There's the max worm wind. It's gonna do a significant chunk. It's gonna do a significant chunk. Uh, he's gonna double, not double into me. He's gonna do some damage on my axe. I do get the crit, but I don't think it matters too much at this point in the game. Uh, cause yeah, he just kind of drops. That should be game. Uh, I can switch out my axe drill for free here. Cause I don't want to risk losing it immediately. Yeah, he's just gonna yeah. Good game. This is an interesting game. Uh, I am very certain we can take whatever we need to from this Tyranitar, or on this Tyranitar from whatever's on this team. Uh, except maybe some beat up shenanigans, because I'm, I'm sure something got beat up now. I'm sure something on this team got beat up now that Pokemon Home is out, and I'm just not aware of it. Uh, let's let's do this. Standard lead. Very standard lead. Very in the back. Uh, and he doesn't have much for, uh, he doesn't have much for Dracovish, so let's go ahead and send our boy in. Press that, press that timer button. So uh, this game, it looks like he's, I don't even know what this is, to be honest, man. This is, this is the fear I have of low ladder. This is my greatest low ladder fear. Uh, luckily, 
luckily he just kind of says hey man it's fine i'm gonna make a really weird lead you could trick room i suppose that is an option um but i can just do this i don't see a reason to stay in with excadrill more likely than not he's gonna follow me and try to go for a ko so i'm gonna switch in clefairy make it easier for tyrantor to take this hit yep there's the follow me there's the mech. Why are you guys just so scared of everything except for Tyranitar? Tyranitar is the threat of this live. It is literally the threat. Okay, so we knocked out our Uncle Fairy. I'm a little bit annoyed. I'm a little bit annoyed that everyone is scared of the the dumbest Pokemon on the field. <laughs> like, literally the easiest thing to knock out. All right, here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to max Rockfall. You can't outspeed us. We're going to high horsepower. If we miss, I'm going to be a little bit upset. I'm going to be a little bit upset, not going to lie. Uh, however, the team has, like, one switch in here. He has, like, one switch in. He's just gonna... Ooh, okay. Okay, well, that didn't help you, man. Life Orb is amazing. Max Geyser. Y you're literally scared of the wrong Pokemon. What, what, are you, what are you thinking? You're literally scared of the wrong Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, come on, Dracovich. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're literally just fine. Give me this thing. Even this thing like it, it doesn't matter he can do whatever he wants i just i just win now because if he follows me if he goes for the follow me then you know he gets his move off uh, he doesn't even follow me he's just gonna max hailstorm interesting all right cool so that's that's interesting man that's real interesting here and now i win now i now i just win uh i could disrespect him a little bit by going for a protect because he's gonna die to sand in fact in fact, I might do that. Like, God, GG. No, no, dude. Like, like actually, click, target the right Pokemon. <laughs> All right, I'm being a little mean to him. I'm being a little mean to him. Target the right Pokemon, though. <laughs> okay, so this is this is actually a pretty cool team. I I don't know how I'm facing cr the craziest stuff today. It could be because I'm such low ladder on this account. Um, however. I feel like I can actually just do what I've been doing this whole time. Let's do this. Let's do this. Um, literally what we've been doing this whole time. But this time with a Dracovish. All right, cool. Took him a minute to get in there. I'm going to have to crop that. I'm going to have to cut that part out where it took him a minute to get into the game. However, uh, I'm pretty certain all he wants to do right now is like follow me shenanigans. So, uh, if there's anything he's going to put to sleep, it's probably, probably going to be, how fast are you? 31 to 90? I need to make this call correctly. Um, I think he's going to want to put my Excadrill to sleep, so I'm going to switch to my Clefairy. I'm going to go for a Protect on the Excadrill. I just need to get a uh, Safeguard off. That's it. Come on. Come on. And I make the wrong call. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, I suppose I just have to keep Safeguarding while I Rock Sled. Because I can get a flinch. Alright. See if I get it. And do a bit of damage there. A bit of damage. And we do not get the flinch. However, I just need one safeguard. That is it. One safeguard and I am good to win this game. I'll go ahead and I'll send in my... Uh, I'll send in the Tyranitar because I'm pretty confident I'll be able to wake up eventually and he's not going to double spore me. And I can protect next turn and go for another safeguard. Like, literally, that's all I need. Just one safeguard. Goes to the Psychic. Not going to be doing too much. We do get our safeguard off. As he goes for a Strength Sap. A bit unfortunate for us. However, I can just Helping Hand this uh, and go for the... Uh, helping Hand Crunch should do it. I don't need to Dynamax quite yet. Kind of hoping he'll go for a super effective move. Just something something in his back pocket I wasn't expecting. That'd be amazing. Because then I get my weakness policy. Alright. Oh, yes. Thank you, sir. I'm now at neutral. Because he's going to strength set. No, he's just going to moon blast. Look how little we're taking. Look how impressive this thing's bulk is. With sand up and Clefairy next to it. We literally stab super effective moon blast. 26%. 26% check it check this out follow me I'm not even letting him do this I'm not even gonna let him do this um, 
because he's going to want to target this. Uh, I could remove this Shinotic from existence. Install that sand to KO it, KO this thing with uh, Excadrill. So I think I want to do that. I think that's exactly what I, what I want to do. I want to remove Shinotic from existence. I am going to go for the... I'm just going to follow me. There's no, there's no reason... There's no reason to do anything other than just max rockfall follow me. This goes for the earthquake. That is fine. That is fine. I just have to stall this out a little bit longer. Uh, I can... Oh, yeah. The sand's gone. Hello. Hello, Mr. Dracovish. You know, win this game for us, Dracovish. There's the gigalith. That is mm, a little bit scarier. A little bit scarier. However, I still like one shot this thing, I believe. So I can go for this. Max knuckle. 1.5 attack. We should be okay. Gigalith is still scary, though. I'll give it that. Gigalith can mess me up. Sand Force, you're gonna do it? You gonna go for the big boy damage? Alright, so we are, at, we are at less speed now. We are at less speed. However, he has to make a decision, I believe. When he turns a Sandstorm, rather. Ah, he has weakness policy. This is tough. This is tough. Ah... Should be going after Dracovish, to be honest. Do this. Uh, max Darkness should kill. Stronger, in fact. This is a stab. So go for the Max Darkness. Uh, I just have to outspeed a Gigalith. That's it. Because he's got to go for it into Dracovish. He's got to he's got to KO my Exeter on the switch in. No, okay. We lose. Good game. Here we go. This is an interesting one. He has a couple of ways of actually dealing with my Tyranitar. However, if I get a safeguard up, a lot of those things, a lot of those ways of dealing with me just go away. And he also has two Intimidate users, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We actually might have to win with Braviary, to be honest. Um, however, my Tyranitar is still amazing. Tyranitar is still an incredible Pokemon in this game, as well as Exudril. So we're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with that. There it is. Are you Intimidate? Please be Intimidate. That'd be hilarious. Double Intimidate? Please. Please. Dude, please. No, you're Moxie. Okay, that's fine. I'm Moxie too, by the way, if you didn't know. Uh, we'll go for this Max Airstream into the Gyarados as well as a Helping Hand. I just want this thing to go away. Gyarados is one of the scarier things in the field, and if I can get a plus two Max Airstream off, that'd be hilarious. It'd be incredible and absolutely phenomenal. Get my Fake Out off. Or get my helping hand off, which goes before fake out. I live that max geyser so easily. So easily. And we get that thing. Yeah, you're dead. You have lost the game. Go home, sir. Go home. Thank you, Clefairy. We're going to get one more. I'm going to get one more game. I want to get one more game where I can show off Clefairy. It might take five games. It might take six. It might take one. It could be this game right now. It is this game versus Sage and Park's team. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just nay nay on him. Just straight nay nay on him. Like this. And that. And, hmm. Who is good here? Uh, I, I feel like he doesn't have an Intimidate user, and a lot of these things just nay nay on Bravery. Dracovish is strong. Dracovish is a strong pick. See so if he goes for the Tokus lead. Yep, there it is. Yep, there it is. And, uh, I am ready to nay nay. I think, I think it's time to nay nay, boys. Send in the Clefairy. Max Rock Vol the Toe Kiss. We are not dealing with this thing. We are not dealing with this thing. What is he gonna do? Yawn? You gonna yawn? No, you're just gonna follow me. Max Quake? I tank that. Toe Kiss? I break that. Other words I can't think of rhymes for? I rap. Alright. Uh, so. What does he have here? What does he even have here? What I'm hoping for is for him to send in the Darmanitan. No, it's just the Whimsicott, dude. It's literally just the Whimsicott. Here, here, check this out. Check this out. Do you have anything that can really deal with me? You could charm, but you're also a prankster. So follow me over here to the Shadow Realm. We're gonna go ahead and max rock while that Whimsicott. It's gonna be a free KO, pretty much. Follow me to the Shadow Realm, bud. And goes for the Moonblast. Alright, he has to go for the Max Lightning now. Admittedly, we would have we would have taken much less damage if uh, had he not taken out the Clefairy. So at least this man has put respect on Clefairy's name. 
He has put respect on Clefairy's name, which is much more than we can say about most people we face today. Uh, I have three turns left to sand. There's a Darmanitan right there. Uh, I can go ahead and go for this double protect. Max guard my boy. Max guard my boy here. And I know for a fact that's Life Orb Drake ult. So we should be fine just to uh, deal with this thing with... Uh, <laughs> deal with this thing with my boy in the back. Dracovish. And yeah, so he more likely, he most likely has, um, he most likely has protect. I'm actually not 100% familiar with Sajin's team, but I also still have two turns of sand. So we can go for this. I don't even want to miss. I don't even want to risk missing. Go for the crunch. Oh, I clicked high horsepower by accident. Guys, I meant to click iron head, but it's fine. We still won. We still won. And Clefairy, mm, Clefairy, I'll be honest, he didn't do too much of that game, but it, if it wasn't a good game, if it wasn't a good game, look at that. Look at that follow me. Look at that impressive follow me that it did. <laughs> the Clefairy is literally about inching your way to victory. Like, it does the smallest things, but that's what Pokemon is. That's what Pokemon is. I'm going to have to edit a lot of really bad games out where I face some really wacky teams. Uh, so, if you, if you see some jumps in this video, it's it's because I'm bad at this game. But trust me, guys, Clefairy is going to be amazing in this metagame. It's going to be great. Uh, let, me know, let me know what your thoughts are on Clefairy in the comment section down below. I'd really appreciate hearing you out. Uh, but yeah, with that, I'm going to call it, guys. Have a nice night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.